Everybody wants to know. You always want to know. How much money are you making? Well, boys, today I'm going to go ahead and cave and show you guys exactly how much money I'm making mining Ethereum. And then that's going to be total revenue. And then we'll talk about some of the costs associated with it. But before we do that, make sure you guys go down and hit the join button and join the membership program for $1.99 to have access to the Rocket Chat self-hosted chat service for Son of a Tech community where we have a bunch of cryptocurrency enthusiasts without the spammers, scammers, and bots to interfere with any sort of enjoyable conversation you may be having. Once you join as a member, you'll be able to hit the membership tab and then get the hidden registration URL and move on from there. Also, don't forget to check out my affiliate links down in the description below. That helps me out a lot. And maybe you'll be like, he's making way too much money and you don't want to do that. And that's fine too. Just enjoy the channel. All right. But here's the deal. Back in September, I took a look at the cryptocurrency market. I had a couple GPUs and I was mining Ravencoin for quite a while. And I noticed that not only was Ravencoin becoming more profitable, but that ETH had started to be profitable again. You see, this channel has been around for quite a, quite a while. It started out as a gaming channel, shifted to a tech channel. And in 2016, it turned into a cryptocurrency mining channel. Now we had some great success with that channel, but I never had success with a mining farm, primarily due to the fact that by the time I had figured out that cryptocurrency mining was profitable and that Ethereum was something I was interested in, there were not very many GPUs available. And that may be the position you are in right now. Now, as opposed to what a lot of people did, which was take a lot of credit card debt out or go out and buy a whole bunch of GPUs that are overpriced, I just held off and bought what I could when I could. And we ended up with a few rigs. I supplemented as well with YouTube and documenting the process there, as well as of course, some cryptocurrency mining pools that I have run or at least ran for a few years there with things like Pearl and Ryo and a few others. I think we also had a Verge pool and so on and so forth. So I have a lot of experience in the industry as it is. And I think that's what helped me kind of target the point. I said, okay, the halving happened in May of 2020 and we are starting to see the rise again and based off all the rest of the charts. So when I looked at it in August and September, I said, I think that this is gonna happen again. It's reasonable to think that we are gonna be able to at least pay off and build the farm out. And I talked to my wife and I said, this is what I wanna do. I went out and I sold two of my cars. I sold a few other things, some computers. Um, I'm always working on the side and doing like custom PC builds. So I had sold a few of those that I put the cash all together and I bought every single RX 5700 that I could. We documented it here on the channel and we ended up with about 60 GPUs. Currently we're running at 61 GPUs. I do have nine GTX 1063 gigs that were on Raven, but we aren't currently mining on them right now. And with that, we are at three giga hash. So I'll show you the farm here in Hive OS. And as you guys can see here, we are mining with, let's see, 10 rigs. One that's kind of a half rig right now that we need to finish building out. We had a GPU die and then a couple other issues. But at this point, as you can see here, we are doing pretty good. We are currently at, if we take a look at the wallet, we are currently at 3.3 giga hash a second on ethermine.org. We have been mining the hive on, but there are some reporting issues. And just to be safe, I moved back to ethermine for a bit. And as you can see here, our estimated daily revenue is $397 a day. If you go ahead and go back to our Hive OS, you can see that our projected daily cost of power is $17.04. This is not always accurate, and I am a little bit above this. However, let's just go for sake of argument and say that we are paying about 20 bucks a day in power. So that would put us at $377.42 a day. If we put that out to the week, that's 2700 and, or 2781 and out to the month it is well that doesn't seem right <laughs> 12,088 
uh, I guess uh, it is making more than I had been expecting. So the other thing about this is I'm not really pulling any of this out, guys. So it's kind of funny to come in and actually take a look and be like, oh, well, that's pretty good. So um, I got to say I'm happy with it. I'm glad with the decisions I made and so on and so forth. The other thing that you need to take into account when mining Ethereum is that it is based taxes in the U.S. is based on as an income. So as opposed to buying and holding or investing in some form or fashion where it's capital gains because it's mining and you're generating it out of thin air it is taxed as income which means obviously my tax bracket here is going to be pretty rough and we're going to have to pay a lot of taxes so for mining i think i've always said this in the past mining and holding is my strategy at least until we start needing to take profits after it goes through the bull market back into a bear market in which case we'll have to do that now i always do take out enough to pay for my power and that is coming out to 800 to a thousand dollars a month just depending on the, the the temperature outside and so on and so forth so there's a lot of variables that go into mining and because of the demand of mining and the possibility of the network difficulty going up as well as the proof of stake coming and so on and so forth this isn't a guaranteed thing right which is why i've talked about before going out taking a whole bunch of credit card debt or going out and doing anything like buying paying overpriced for a gpu that you're not positive you can pay back and so on and so forth is sketch to say the least so i hope you guys take that into consideration i hope that you will look at my gpu buying strategies guide for mining because that's where i went over and literally gave you the handbook and showed you on the charts told you why and when you want to buy if you want to get into mining now there is going to be the argument of is mining dead after this cycle because of ethereum we're going to talk about that in another video coming up Hope you guys have a better insight on what it took for me to get to this point and kind of the, uh, the little bit of luck, right? So um, it was very thought out. I had planned it out. I was expecting a much lar longer payoff and uh, we've been blessed to have not only been correct, but also be in now a bull market. So we have all of our stuff already paid off thanks to selling cars i sold my favorite gti my 2002 gti uh, 337 edition to do this so this isn't something that just came out of nowhere right um and taking debt out that sort of thing so i want you guys to keep that in mind like i made sacrifices to do it it's not like uh i don't know i i also i, I feel very blessed and probably a little it's a little surreal too but Hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a better idea on how this all functions. So I will see you next Tuesday.